Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2013. So we are here with this problem 4 of your paper. This problem is an analysis problem. So let us firstly have a look. Let S be a non-empty subset of R. If S is a finite union of disjoint or disjoint bounded intervals, then which one of the following is true? So firstly, it is given to you that S is non-empty subset. And the second most important thing that is given to you that it's a finite union of disjoint bounded intervals. Now question says, if S is not compact, then supremum of S belongs to S, sorry, does not belongs to S and infimum of S does not belong to S. B option suggests that even if supremum of S belongs to S and infimum of S uh, belongs to S, S need not be compact. Third one says supremum S belongs to S and infimum of S belongs to S, then S is compact. Fourth one says even if S is compact, it is not necessary that supremum of S belongs to S and infimum of S belongs to S. All right. So, uh, okay, I will be doing only one option because it is very easy to uh, see it from here. Okay. So you see S is a disjoint, uh, disjoint union of uh, finite open inter uh, finite intervals only, right? So I will just uh, choose a uh, disjoint interval. Okay, let me say 0, 1, then union uh, 3, let us say 4, then union 5, 6. So see, from this side, I what I will be doing, I will be doing this closed thing. Okay, it's, it's still an interval, okay? And from here, I will be doing this closed thing. That from this side, it's closed. Now what will happen due to this closedness, I can say 0 belongs to S and 6 belongs to S. Now what is the supremum value for S? It's 0 is, zero is infimum and 6 is supremum. Are you getting my point? You can directly see it that it's infimum and it's supremum. Now you see that your supremum and infimum both belongs to the set. So now check whether your set S is compact or not. No, it's not compact. Why? Because it's not closed. Now see one here is a limit point, but one does not belongs to S. That means it's not closed. All right. So for our open interval, let us say three, four, we know that three and four are limit points of it. So if you can also see this thing that three and four are limit point, but it is not, it does not belongs to S. So from here also, you can say that S is not closed. S is not closed implies S is not compact. All right. So why I am doing this? Because it is very easy to see it from here that your B option is correct. So it says even if supremum and infimum belongs, then also it need not be compact. So we prove that S is not compact, right? So that means B option is true. It need not be compact, even if supremum and infimum belongs to S. All right. So therefore B is true. I'm not going through A, C and D option. You can always find counters for them. All right. So that's why you, your B option is true. So you should also do this way in, a, in your exam. So if you need your, in your exam, you, 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 you look at this option that it says that even if supremum and infimum belongs, then also it need not be compact. Then you can directly think of this set. All right. So I will suggest you to uh, do not found, found counter for A, C and D because that will be very much time taking. I, I, I don't want that in your exam. What we want is just one minute question. All right. So B is correct. A, C and D are incorrect. So this is how we can solve this question. All right. So thank you.